I got all this Lego for only $220 from the most insane Lego garage sale you have ever seen. Today's episode is all about the throwbacks. Every single one of these sets came out well before my days of Lego collecting, so they're all new to me, which has me quite literally on the edge of my seat. Oh! Like any collectible, the older it is, the more it's worth. So I can't wait to see the value of this whole haul at the end. Let's dive right, right in. <laughs> First up, we have set number 7204 or Jedi Defense 2. This set was released in 2002 and includes Qui-Gon and two amazing battle droids. I picked up a couple of these mini sets from the garage sale, which you'll see later. Super simple door build, but I really grabbed this one for the droids, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. Both of these guys have fantastic printing and look great, which has me wondering why LEGO doesn't print more droids like this today. Qui-Gon also looks great with that classic yellow head and a sweet chrome lightsaber, which is also something I wish LEGO still did. The average used price for this set is about $35, which isn't too shabby for a little door. Speaking of, can someone tell me if this tan one by one goes on the door or the droids? Thanks. Up next, we have set number 7655 or Clone Troopers Battle Pack. This set was still a little before my LEGO days, being released in 2007, but I've always wanted these figures. I was stoked when I found a bag of them, which includes another set of troopers besides this guy. And I was even more stoked when the seller told me I could have this whole bag for only two bucks. Especially since this set is worth almost $50 used. Very, very happy I was able to snag these boys. Moving to some original trilogy, we have set number 7119, the Twin Pod Cloud Car. Twin Pod Cloud Car. Twin Pod Cloud Car. Moving to some original trilogy, we have set number 7119, the Twin Pod Cloud Car, which was also released in 2002. Because these sets were bought from a garage sale, some were pretty dusty, like this Twin Pod. But after some toothbrush action, it looks as good as new. It's only worth about 16 bucks used, but I love the design and really got this little guy for my own enjoyment. Sticking with the original trilogy, I picked up this little bag of some sweet figures, like Boba Fett, Darth Maul, and this really cool scout trooper, totaling about $138. Going back to the prequels now, we have the other two mini sets I mentioned earlier, which were also released in 2002. That's set number 7113, Tusken Raider Encounter, and set number 7103, Jedi Duel. Both of these sets are amazing little scenes with amazing figures like Count Dooku, the Tusken Raiders, and this freaky looking Yoda. <laughs> Together, these sets are worth roughly $80, and they also came with the original instructions as an added bonus. Finally, we have one of my top bucket list sets of all time, set number 7133, Bounty Hunter Pursuit. The set was released in 2002, so still before I could walk, but I used to own some old LEGO Club magazines and would look at this set all the time. It includes two super unique builds and three awesome figures, like Zam Wazelle, who's worth 70 bucks by herself. So happy to finally have this dream set, which oh yeah, is worth $175 used. Another amazing haul from this garage sale, but now it's time to see how much it's all worth. So, I paid 50 bucks for all seven of these bags, and there were $504. Next episode is gonna be an insane Star Wars minifigure haul, so get ready for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend. 